G'day and welcome to Starting From A Point, Part 4.1 with Jenny Brandes. Part 4 is the straight edge. Part 4 starts with four pairs at the topmost pinhole. Two pairs will go to the right, one as the outer passives and the other is one of two weaving pairs. The other two pairs will make up the left outer passives and one of the left weaving pairs. Next, we will be putting two pairs on this pin. One pair will become the inside right passives, while the other pair will become the second left weaver pair. Adding a new pair at the inner red dots. On the right, we add two pairs. One becomes the inner left passive, and the other the second right weavers. This will give us two pairs of passives and a flat edge on both sides. Now to see this in action. Put in two temporary pins above the work and hang two pairs in the open or rainbow configuration on each pin. Put two twists on the outside left pair and secure them off to the side. Repeat with the right pair, two twists and pin off to the side. We are going to cloth stitch the two inner pairs and put up the pin. Cross, twist and cross. Put up the pin. Close the pin with cross, twist and cross. These two pairs become the outside passives. Put up a temporary pin on the right. Move the right two pairs down and hang two pairs in the open configuration from this new pin. Add two twists to the outside pair. This will lock the two pairs and allow for the two twists between pins for the foot side. Secure the outside pair with pins to prevent them from riding up as we work. Hole stitch and twist the two right weaver pairs. Cross, twist, cross, twist and twist. Put up the pin between these two pairs. The left pair will become the inner left passives and the right hand pair will become a weaver pair. Remove the temporary pin and ease down the threads. Cross stitch through the right hand outer passives to have the left inner passives in place. Cross, twist and cross. Tension. There are now two pairs of passives on the left, one pair on the right and two worker or weaving pairs. Put up the temporary pin to the left. Move the left pair aside as you hang two new pairs in the open configuration. Add two twists to the outside pair. Secure that pair to the pillow while we work with the right pair. The new weaver pair will work through the other weaver pair. Cross, twist, cross, twist. Put in the pin between these two pairs and add the second twist to both pairs. Cross stitch through both pairs of weavers. Cross, twist and cross. Cross, twist and cross. Tension. That pair becomes the right inner passives. Remove the temporary pin and ease the thread down. You now have two pairs of weavers and two pairs of passives on each side. These will become the foot sides. We will now join our workers at this pinhole, bringing the left weaver pair through the passives, cross, twist, cross, cross, twist, cross. Tension and lay aside while you work on the right. Cross, twist and cross, 
cross, twist and cross. Tension. Working with both pairs of weavers, cross, twist and cross. Put up the pin and tension. Close the pin with cross stitch, cross, twist and cross, tension. I'm going to work the right side first, so I'm pinning the left workers out to the side. Using the inner right workers, cross stitch through the passives, cross, twist, cross, cross, twist and cross. Add two twists to the workers to separate the passives from the edge. Remove the tempered pin and hole stitch and twist the outside pairs. Cross, twist, cross, twist and twist. Put up the pin between the worker weaver pair and the passives, not between the workers. We are going to come back in through the passives and add a new pair on the inner pin. Cross, twist and cross. Cross, twist and cross. Tension and add a twist before putting up the pin. Adding the inner pairs is in part 4.2.